Hello guys, I am Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 10 on using the SketchUp CAD software. What we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about the topic of changing dimensions. Now if you've been with me so far in this series, I've really emphasized throughout these lessons about how important it is to set your dimensions when you create an object. But the question is what happens if you got that wrong or what happens if you want to change it later? Well, actually one of the more frustrating things about SketchUp to me is is this dimension thing. It's kind of hard to go back and edit the dimension later so I want to show you how to do that. So let's uh, get me out of the way. Boom! Okay, so let's start. Let's get our rectangle tool. Let's snap to the origin. Click once, come out, click a second time. Now before I do anything else I need to put the dimension on here. 40 comma 40 enter all right now it's the right dimension but let's look at this let me let me uh, get rid of that and let's try that again let's say that I come and I come out here I want it 40 by 40 and I draw it and click and then I get distracted and I click on something else now I want to come in and make this 40 by 40 well if I click on it and I type in 40 comma 40 it doesn't let me change the dimension you have to set the dimension right when you create the object. Okay, well let's right mouse click and look at entry info and we can see that it is 960. It tells me that but it doesn't give me a little box over here to change that. So the question is if uh, you know probably you're going to be tempted just to go in and erase it and start over but what if you already had a bunch of stuff done? How do you change the dimension? Well, and remember we wanted it 40 by 40. There is this tool and I can click on it and oh look at that I can change the size but this is the problem. It's changing the size based on a, let's see if I can get out of your way here. Okay, do you see right here? It's a ratio. It's not an absolute dimension. So you see it's telling me right here that I'm making it 1.5, a scale of 2, 2.7. Well, you would have to go in and say, well, what was it? How do I do the ratio? And so you can see it is a little hard to change the side. Let me show you how I do it. I come up and I get the ruler. I come down here to this midpoint. I click on it. I come out. I click and I say 40. Okay, now I have a reference point. Now I come back and I get the resize tool, I click on it, and now I bring it out and then I snap onto the line. Okay, 40. Now that one's right. Now I need to get this one right. So who's your friend? The tape measure is your friend. I come out. I'm going to try to get to that midpoint. There it is. I come out how far? Click. I type in 40. Okay, now I have a guideline that way. Now I come back to my resize tool and I get this and I snap it to that line. Click. All right, now this should be 40 by 40. Show you another kind of tool that's interesting. It is the dimension tool here. And what you can do is you come to this is this won't change anything, but it at least shows you what you've got. So I can come here and click come over here and click to the other corner and then just come out and now this is just a display that shows shows me what I've got I can come here and uh, let's see click here and then click on this one and come out and I can see that that's 40 as well so you see this is pretty useful the other thing is this will dynamically update and so like if I come back and I get my resize tool and I change the dimension notice that it changes over here I guess you could do it by trying to watch that but again I would rather use a guideline and snap to the guideline like boom okay there I have got the dimension alright so that's a little bit about resizing let me show you what if and this is really bad let's say that I will make this dimension wrong uh, I'll have it like this and then what if I use the push pull tool and I come up let's say I'm gonna come up 35 enter okay so now we've got that and let's go ahead and, and dimension that as far as just uh, reading the dimension so let's get our dimension tool we'll start in the corner 
go to that corner and come out and so that's 35 so that actually looks looks kind of nice but what if I said oops this base was supposed to be 40 by 40 okay well I can come in and I can uh, select the base and then get my resize tool and I can bring it out here to 40 but you see what the problem is it just changed that I'm gonna have to come up here and I'm gonna have to get this one and then I'm gonna have to get the resize tool and what I do is I start it and then I come down here and snap it to that point okay now that should be 40 we should be able to uh, to check that so go here to here and come out and in fact that's 40 okay so a little bit of showing you some tricks on how to resize things again one of the things about SketchUp that is a little bit hard is it's a little bit hard to change dimensions after you've gotten somewhere so I try to really get the dimensions right right when I create the object and then sort of carry those correct dimensions on through but if you end up in a place where things are not right hopefully this uh, this video is helpful again uh, really appreciate you guys tuning in uh, if you like this video think about giving us a thumbs up think about sharing it subscribe to the channel all right, this is Paul McWhorter, and I will talk to you guys later.